YouTube, The Walking Dead here. I'm a little, because I've got, I've got to recover from last night. Last night, uh, it, it was a lot of fun. I had just a few too many of these. This is my medicine today. It's actually about two or three o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, as you can tell, I'm outside. You can hear the train, you can hear the heater kicking on. I apologize for that extra noise. Uh, I've actually got to get out here and get started on the cleanup. It's always amazing how much of a mess a party can make. Underneath the tripod over there in that corner is a huge pile of loot crates, horror blocks, arcade block, nerd block. Looks like there's a box of dread. There's a lot of stuff out here. Buffet table. There's some more crap around here. We really did have a good night last night. Had a lot of fun. Uh, we didn't wrap up the games until about 1 o'clock in the morning. I don't know if that was the first 1 o'clock or the second 1 o'clock. <clears throat> I honestly don't know. Uh... Like I said, I had a few too many beers. I know, I'm not that fun. I'm not that funny right now. I'm trying to recover. It was pretty good. I really wish I'd done this video last night. It would, it would be a lot better than what it is right now. Uh, yes, my... Backdrop is trying to push me away. So, uh, the goblin and his friend, uh, the son of one of our guests, we bought them a bag of ball pit balls to play with out here in the yard. They uh, felt like it was instead of throwing them at the thing that I had, the, the ball toss thing I made, they uh, thought it was a lot more fun to throw them into the swimming pool. So it was interesting watching everybody at the end of the party last night trying to get all the balls to the edge so they could get them out of the pool. Which, hold on just a moment. Let me bring it Okay, I'm back. So, um, I actually made this a few years ago. But this is the ball toss. That I made a few years ago. It actually... We made it for one Halloween, and... I think that was the year we ended up not doing the party. I don't know if we didn't do a party or if we just changed the ideas. But it ended up getting put away and it's just kind of sat in there ever since. But last night it actually got played with. Uh, had a few of the guests that were trying to make an enormous bonfire. Gotta make all this wood last. I 
think it was about 10 o'clock last night. We said, screw being outside, let's go inside, finish this up. So we all packed into the living room, along with the boys, and finished stuff up. Uh, which, uh, Friday was actually the pumpkin's birthday, Halloween. She is a Halloween baby. So we went to Fort Smith and we, we needed to get stuff for the party and uh, we went by the trolley museum which they've got an old steam locomotive up there. Uh, if the goblin was out here when the train was just going through, he would have been screaming, choo choo, choo choo, choo choo, choo choo. Hey man, this one's kicking up there. Okay. So anyways, we're there and the pumpkin said that something she'd really like to do again that we haven't done in a while is ride the trolley. So we went to the Fort Smith Museum and we paid for admission to the museum, paid for uh, trolley tokens. When we went out to get on the trolley, they said, oh, it's broke down right now, give us just a little bit. And it was kind of chilly, wind was blowing pretty good. So the pumpkin and goblin got in the car. Uh, she let him get over in the driver's seat and he said they're playing scared a little levers and everything. And they got they thought they had it fixed and they said, okay, yeah, come on, come get on the trolley. So we all went, got on the trolley. That was a horrible ride. The goblin loved it. The pumpkin was in fear for her life. And I, I was a little concerned. And the, the elderly gentleman that was running it, he wasn't finessing the controls. He was just... Dum, dum, dum. So it was a very rough stop and start and he would slam it forward and it jerked forward and he'd let off of it and it'd slam stop and it, it was crazy so we rode all the way up onto Garrison Avenue and we came back when we got back to the museum the brakes were out again so he's trying to stop there by the museum but he's having to let it coast a little bit, and then he slams it in re into reverse. Coast a little bit, slam it into reverse. And the pumpkin was scared of that. What was scaring me was whenever we come to a street crossing, he wasn't ringing the bell like they're supposed to. He was just, he'd slow down and kind of look and go on across. You know, that was the one thing that worried me. The goblin, though, thought all of the... Ooh. I shouldn't be doing that right now. He thought all that was fun and exciting. So, they, we, they took us on down to the trolley museum. We walked around there for a while. Went through some of the train cars. And they got the trolley fixed again. They gave us a new engineer, or conductor, whatever he's called, a new driver, and he was able to operate the controls much better. So our ride back to the museum was very nice. We got off, we go to get in the car, and I can't get the car to unlock, can't get nothing to happen. Stick the keys in the ignition, nothing. <clears throat> I was able to get a elderly couple that uh, was on the trolley with us to give us a jump. And we figured out, while the goblin was sitting in the driver's seat waiting for the trolley to get fixed, and he was, <laughs> he turned the headlights on. And for the hour and a half, two hours, we were on the trolley or at the trolley museum 
the headlights were or the lights were on on the car and it killed the battery. <coughs> uh, so that's really we live out towards the country so every now and then you'll hear gunshots. It's not like living you know, it's just people trying to shoot deer. Um, wow, that totally, totally sidetracked me. So, you know, we ended up having a pretty good party, had a lot of fun, uh, had a pretty good day on Halloween, uh, which the pumpkin chose for her birthday meal. She chose to eat at Five Guys. If you've never had Five Guys burgers, they're good. They're expensive, but they're good. For two burgers, a large fry, three drinks, and a hot dog, it was $33 and change. So, you know, you break it up, you know, three meals, $11 a piece, really not too bad. But, you know, if we went to McDonald's, it would have been less than $20. Or if we'd gone... A few other places, it would have been cheaper. But, you know, it, it's really good food. We really do like their burgers. Uh, we took the... We didn't actually have to go trick-or-treating here in our town. We took the goblin up to my job and trick-or-treated there and went by some friends and family and... Then we drove back to our town. By the time we got back down here, there was only like three or four head, three headlights, yeah, porch lights on in the neighborhood. So we're like, yeah, he's got enough candy. It's a good thing about trick or treating at work and friends and family. You get a ton of candy in, at each place. Uh, so. We, pull, we go ahead, we get out, and we're trying to get the car unloaded, and we had bought a bag of candy to hand out. So I told the pub counselor, I'm going to go ahead, go out front, and see if anybody comes by. Because come in, we hadn't seen any trick-or-treaters at all. And I couldn't even get the bag open before the first one showed up. I gave them some candy. Then a couple minutes later, a truck with a 16-foot flatbed trailer comes through the neighborhood, loaded down with kids in the bed of the truck and in the trailer. So, you know, I got to hand out half the candy right there, which I wasn't being stingy. And I like handing out chocolate. I mean, that's what the kids are going to eat. You know, they get a bunch of the junk and... They get a bunch of junk in there. Yeah, I don't like that. Mm. So we buy Snickers and Milky Way and Twix and Three Musketeers. You know. That's how I give candy. I just reach in, get a handful. There you go. There you go. There you go. <coughs> so we're down to like half the bag, a little bit less. And we had a couple more... Uh, singles or two or three come through. Then we sat out there for 20 minutes. Nobody came through. It was cold. We were tired. It had been a long day in Fort Smith. I said, well, we got more candy for the party. Let's go. So we ended up coming in. And that was all of our trick-or-treating. Uh, if you if you follow my Facebook page, you got to see a picture of me and the goblin dressed up for Halloween. So you actually got to see a little bit more of my ugly mug. You know, about that much. A little bit more there. Yeah, probably about like that.
which some people have asked. That is attached. Mm. <laughs> that wasn't good. Um. <coughs> I'm still a big guy. Um. But I've actually lost a lot of weight. I still try to wear some of my uh, clothes that I still got that are too big now. The shorts I'm wearing right now, I really need to wear a belt with because just standing here talking, all of a sudden they went choop. Yeah, I gotta hold them up. Hold on, just a second. The goblin was just tapping on the back door. Dad, 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 what's up? Um, and I also need to do, I'm going to wrap this up here pretty quick. Um, if, if you haven't already quit, thank you. I'm sorry this isn't more exciting than what it, what I had intended for it to be. <coughs> but, I do want to say, uh, on the campaign, we did get another donation, and with that donation, we got some more lights. No, these are not actual studio lights. They're halogen work lights, but they were in the budget. So I want to thank my mom and dad for that donation. Uh, that's what they were able to, what we were able to do with that. <laughs> which we were able to use that last night at the party to help illuminate and you know, it worked out good <coughs> it, we've actually had a lot of fun this weekend I know that I'm not sounding like I'm really having fun or had fun but like I said, I'm recovering from the last two days. <coughs> I'm just glad I don't have to go back to work until tomorrow evening. Um, and there go the shorts traveling south again. It's an awful weird feeling when you're standing there and just all of a sudden your shorts go Doop. Mm. I've got that hand in my pocket holding them up uh, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up uh, if, you, if you watched this all the way to the end thank you I'm sorry it wasn't as exciting as I had expected it to and as far as the title goes you got that much of it so, as always, this is The Walking Dad saying, thank you for watching. Please like or dislike and subscribe. And as always, stay creepy. Bye-bye.